Hey guys, and welcome to SimCity. So let's get right into it, but I'm just going to do this one episode. Gauge uh, if anybody's actually going to watch this series. Um, and if it gets anything at all, maybe I will. Because I quite like SimCity. I've owned it for a while. Um, I think we'll start with a smaller region just because it's easier. Let's name the region... Bam, creative is hell. <laughs> Alright. We want something with a bit of everything, so this will probably be better. And uh, like I was saying, if it if it does get any good reaction of any kind, then I'll keep playing it. Because I've owned this game since it released, it's pretty fun. Uh, City Skylines looks like a pretty good upgrade to this game, but I don't own it. And since I own this, I probably won't get City Skylines unless uh, it goes on sale or something. Alright, let's start it off. <sighs> Apparently we're going to have to go through like 50 of these. Seriously? <laughs> okay. Convert factories. <clears throat> okay. Convert factories, shops, and houses across the region into franchises to make a fortune in franchise profits. The Academy. Workers at the Academy research new technologies to give you new buildings to improve your entire region. So essentially, the Cities of Tomorrow's pack um, is a complete. Keep these buildings staffed or transmit a signal. Anyway, it's it's so that you can get end game stuff. All right, let's start it off. That's not the right. I really do not need you to tell me how to play. Thanks. All right, roads. Mm, let's get medium density because that's what this is. Oh no, it's not. This is a high density street. Really? You can't pave? I thought you could pave over. Alright, so we're gonna build two sideways roads. Don't ask me why, I have no idea. Um, let's get the bulldozer out. We're gonna create a si What? You know what, this is probably a high density avenue. Too sharp. Angle too sharp for what? Probably because it's trying to build over that road. So let's get a high density avenue. Let's extend that a little bit. Alright, so from the side here, um, I figure we can probably make a little area out here. Alright, so I don't know about this whole mountain thing. You know, I guess we could get a road up here. I'm apparently on too much of a spending spree. Um, from here, we can probably drop to medium. We're running out of money, as you can see. <laughs> I'm kind of spending everything, which is why they're concerned. So let's just immediately get some houses in here. A couple of those, and some industry at the end of the street. Actually, that's in like the worst possible place. So, power. We have no way of... Generating power yet, there we go. Water. I'm out of money. We're actually in the negative at the moment, but once we get some houses in, we might go positive. There we go. It's, I think that just went 
There we go. Okay, we're positive. So positive is good. Positive is definitely good. Because if I wait a few hours, I can get a pump in. That goes really slow. Alright, we're going to get like a loan. I think we should be able to get like a bond. Here we go. Let's accept a bond. Here we go. And we've got our first set of buildings. So, uh, as you can see, I'm a little, a little shit at this game. Haven't played it in a long time, and honestly, this area that we're in is pretty gross. The whole layout is just kind of meh. With this giant mountain. So, it's got a big flat space, so this will be where the brunt of my city is. But we're starting out with a small little zone out here, so we can just get started, get some money in, and then I can expand out here. This big lane is going to curve around here. Alright, we're getting, we're getting some stuff in here. So, let's... While that's happening, let's try and create... Oop, that was bad. I tried to control Z. Shows you what, uh, what I'm doing here. I'm doing medium density for future proofing, but honestly, let's try and not do that at the moment. Now, let's get a large series, and the reason I'm building it on this side is because you can see the wind direction. These give off pollution, which you want to not go over your citizens. So because they're all at the bottom section, they'll just go out of the map. Up here, however, will go out. It's the same with the wind turbine. You want to make sure it's into the wind so that I can actually get some power out of it. Just like these people like a little bit of uh, stuff. That's slightly off, but honestly I'm not OCD enough to care. I see a lot of people play these games and they're super OCD about everything. Eh. A little bit of offness isn't going to screw up everything. Now, there is a... It is fairly hilly over here. <laughs> what are we missing right now? We have quite a bit of residential demand. Which is why I'm building this whole section here. We're going to try and get some... Probably medium, at least. We'll drop a few more stores over here, just in case. And we don't really have too much of an industrial demand. We do, however... The reason we have residential demand is because we don't have enough people for all these factories. Alright, so let's... Government. Get that town hall. Um, let's place it over here. Where's the entrance? I don't actually know... It gives me upgrades, but I can't remember what it does. Give it a name! Let's call this... Hmm... That just popped into my head. So we'll go with Samson's Hollow. I don't... I've never known anyone named Samson. Um, and it's not a very common name, so I don't know why... I don't actually know at what level I can get. Alright, here we go. Sewage outflow pipe. Because we're going to need that. There we go. We still have a bit of residential demand. Worker shortage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get some parks in. These aren't, um, here we go. I need something that actually gives off. These are massive. Can I get smaller ones? Here we go. I'm trying to create medium and high level 
residential. And so the way you do that is you increase, basically you increase land value, and people come in and they build better houses. So instead of having, like, um, RVs and trailer parks, you go into real houses. So, like, that's basically just a mobile home. And so now I've got a bunch of houses. They're a little bigger, but I believe they increase the population regardless. Also, see those little guys? Look at them. People want me to do, like, the Omega stuff, and that's actually just because... Um... Six kilogram an hour. What are we doing on water, by the way? We've got way more than enough. We still have a worker shortage, huh? Unfortunately, we're gonna have to destroy that. Grid cities are fine for the moment. Um, we can really kind of try and make it a little more unique over here, but... We're going for, like... Maximum efficiency. <laughs> I don't really want to build over here because it means it's by industrial. But, you know. Whatever we can do to get this place going because we're still really in need of, of people. However, you can see here we don't need workers for this anymore, which is nice. This is working, so that's nice. We're still way in the positive. So why don't we, since we're in the positive, expand our medium road system. Get some more industrial going. There's a difference between not wanting straight and, like, ruining the... <laughs> Seriously? Alright. <laughs> we'll keep it. More industrial. So the way I think this works is... I don't remember completely, but industry is what gives you the most money. Yeah, they pay the highest taxes. So you use people... For the jobs, the commercial, I believe, builds up um, happiness, yeah, because it's, it's places they can shop. So you want a balance of all three, but you really want some industrial backing so you can get some more money in. Alright, what's our... Uh, we're not treating anything yet. We need to upgrade the town hall. We also probably want a garbage dump, so I'm gonna place that there. Not enough Somali. Wow, I don't have enough money, huh? Oh no, it's 9,000. There we go. Let's get a trash thing in, because once we have a trash thing in, then people will start complaining about it. Okay, so plant, plop an Omega Co. factory and supply crude oil and raw ore to begin manufacturing. So that's a little bit of a late game. I can't do that yet. No thanks, get out of my face. Plop one futuristic park. So, if you go into... Is it in here? I don't think it is. I think it's actually in normal view. Oop. Normal city planning. And then in park. Here we go. Should be a futuristic park. Ah yes, I forgot. You can uh you can plant forests. They're pretty expensive actually. So let's not do that. I don't think there's any... Any level 2 future parks. I think only level 3 exists. It's this one right here. I think this counts as a future park. 
I haven't actually really used. I think I stopped playing, like right when the this thing was introduced. So I don't really know how that's working. So we need a lot more houses. So I guess what we can do for the moment, is we can expand our way out here. I don't have enough money. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I'm playing a real dangerous game here. Because of the way I have to set up roads, it is draining my money. There's a way to fill sections. I think it's like hold shift. No, it's hold control. So hold control. Uh, these are going to be real low level because again, there's some industry here. So in fact, I'm going to delete the industry here. Plop in a little more housing, and then on the corner here, we'll put some more commercial. That way I don't have to worry about dropping land values with the industry. We can keep the industry to its own space. Look how fast it's gone. Look at all these moving trucks. See, this is low level. We've got all these crappy semi temporary housing. We don't have enough money. Hmm. So, the way bonds work, right? You pay these back. Is it monthly? really want to do that cuz it it'll drop happiness. Actually, we're we're fairly happy right now. Residentially anyway. We just don't have a hospital because it's it's not we don't have the infrastructure yet. All the infrastructure buildings like police, garbage, all those they're really expensive. At least early games. So you got to kind of wait as your money pools in. I need to make 20,000, I'm at 12. It should work itself out in the end. The question I have is, can you, can you make curves? So the way, yeah, you can make curves. Okay, so arced roads. Yeah, like that, see? So it's $10,000 to start getting up that hill. Which is why we're not doing it yet. We don't have the infrastructure. We don't have anything in place to be able to do that. It doesn't look like we need jobs. Oop, there we go. This house must have burnt down or was abandoned, and so you have to... It's free to bulldoze, which is nice, because eventually you'll be doing it quite a bit. What was the thing I needed to make? Ah, it was this. The hospital clinic. So this raises medium wealth land value. That's nice. So we're going to put it over here by the uh, wind turbine. You can add bays. So that's that's something that I don't think is in City Skylines that I quite enjoy. It's the modular system. So, for instance, I mean, this is the easiest way to show you. You go into here, you can edit, and you can plop down little add additions to the, uh, the building. Um, for the college and stuff, that really helps. What the heck? That was a lot of banging around. Six deaths per year, huh? That's pretty good. Six deaths per year? Oh, there's only a thousand people, though, so I guess... No thanks, I already know about that. You can't do it with the town hall, but how close are we... Okay, so we need 5,000 for the first upgrade. 5,000 people.
we're gonna start so the problem here is we're about to reach the point where I think we're gonna be overstretching now we've still got quite a bit of excess we don't have any AI cities I think that's the only part of the tutorial where that can even happen all right so oop, looks like we've got a fire huh so unfortunately I think because we don't have a thing. Oh, we can't bulldoze things that are on fire. So hopefully that doesn't spread, because I don't have the money to do anything about it. See, they're all 20k. Like, why? Alright, there we go. Let's get in here. So the way this works, even though they have a set distance, they're not stuck. And what I mean by that, see, even the parks can be modular, um, is that if you look here, hold on, let's get this menu out, that's got an AoE, right? But the AoE, if it's next to another AoE, usually they'll connect. As long as they're close enough, they'll overreach. So even though you might have two areas that end slightly before these houses, they should connect and you'll get the full coverage that you need. What is our requirement? We're still trying to meet residential demand. We're increasing a demand in medium wealth um, commercial buildings. So I think... Um, Yeah, so it, I, I was trying to figure out, I couldn't remember if they shared things. So I believe land value is shared across this. So if you increase the land value, it'll also increase it to level 2. Um, business levels. So we'll get medium demand decrease, hopefully. If not, I can always, again, add stuff to it. Density, what makes us happy, what makes us not happy. See, so yeah, I'd, I'd like to be able to increase that. You know, I think that... Oh, here we go. Futurizes. This is a future park. So that should start things becoming futurized. Let's put another one over here. It's got quite an AoE. Although it seems to not actually increase land value. Oh my god. Alright, I can finally afford fire uh, station. So once that gets people in it, they should start being able to put out fires. Alright, are we getting. Ah, we're getting future. Futurized buildings. What is... what was the future building reward? I don't know what it was. I know I got the reward, because I just did it, but... Okay, so for these, you can add more wind turbines. Um... 5.13... Way more expensive. I think I might need... no, we're still... we're still above. Okay. I was worried about the futurizing thing, like, ruining my power. But I think we're still good. Is this? This is a really weird park. Those are that's a solar paneled walkway. And then you got a little tower and it comes out here. That's a pretty interesting building. The music in this game is fantastic. I'm sure it's also heavily copyrighted and I won't be able to monetize this video, but monetizing doesn't really matter, so it's fine. So we're about mm, 20 minutes in. This is the progress I've made. We're still way behind on people. And in fact, we need a bunch of low-level houses. And the reason for that is because obviously medium-wealth people want to work medium-wealth jobs. 
but we've got too many high level jobs, so we're gonna kind of put this buffer between the medium and the high wealth, or the medium and the low wealth. So on this side should be uh, a bunch of just crappy buildings. being futurized. Quite a bit of this stuff is being futurized by this. Uh, it's fine, though. I don't know that it does anything to land value, per se. Ooh! I forgot about that. They create this, like, nice, cool-looking hex-tiled floor. Or roads. They're awesome-looking. So, futurizing, I don't think... it's it, There's no negatives to it, right? It doesn't increase land value. It just increases, I think, productivity. So I think, like, a future house produces more people than a, a non-future house. Future store sells more, yada yada. You know, like that sort of thing. The real question is, when will I be able to create an Omega Core store? So here's the Omega Co. The problem is it needs crude oil and raw ore, and I haven't reached that stage yet. So in terms of mining, oh my goodness, that's... Alright, so we don't have the infrastructure to even get anything up there, because we have to make it up the ramp, and again, I already said it's about 10 grand to do that. Or, because this was oil, right? No, that was coal. So ore is... Actually, we're, we're going to need to mine ore, so we're going to have to... That's unfortunate. We're going to have to try and do that, like, right here. So we'll build out the road here, and then try and put this ore down, and then keep expanding around and hopefully avoid it. In terms of oil... Ah, oil is nice, though. It, it's right off... We can get some right here. We don't have enough money, of course, because, you know, expensive. Expensive stuff. But what it does is we can eventually get into the, um... forgot if these are necessary. Those might only be necessary in multiplayer when you can actually share with other people. I'm trying to remember if you need it. I think yes, because I think you can you can sell things to non-existing people. Like, it'll just... Trade depots allow you to sell any actual produced product that you have. So we got this level 1. Oh, they've got a little thing under them. So there are futurizing sections. Here's the futurizer. I didn't even notice that. So this is the medium wealth futurizing building. So what we should do... Oh, they, I already got a... Okay, let's do this. Let's demolish this. Oh, wow, this music is... <laughs> it is a ramping up. It is like... <laughs> That's insane. I'm gonna replace this. Goodness. So that should futurize a bunch of stuff, because we want to be super futuristic. Look at it, it's so cool. I love these little roads. Such a small change, but it makes me very happy. This guy's gonna come with a crime starting with me. Alright, what's what's my reward? Nothing. Alright. Are these not enough low wealth? Problem with the futurizing buildings is they're massive. Like the parks, they're too big. Uh, an Omega Co. Factory, the one that they keep asking me to make, will actually um, upgrade. It'll futurize the uh, industrial sectors. So we're making quite a bit of money. I kind of want to make a foray into... Well, first we, we should get cops down. Let's get a police station. Let's put it over here. 
Oh, that was a bad idea. Because now I can't put... Can't put extra... Okay, you can fit them on the top, though. So, and you can see there's two different things. There's a ground floor and a top floor. So what you can do is you can put down one of these and then put another one on top of it. And that means that you can build in less space. But you can also get these patrol cars. The more you buy, the more stuff or more patrol cars go around. So you can upgrade those, but they cost more and they start using more per hour. So... This has... These are technically... They have an infinite range, but things that are near them have better coverage. They get they get uh, covered faster. Those firemen are so hot um, because of the fire. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. That's unfortunate. So let's. Let's try and futurize. Was that a gunshot? I love these new futuristic buildings. What are these? Wait. Oh, these are... Oh. These are commercial buildings. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> Can I add, like, future trees? Oh, yeah, I totally forgot that I can do this. You can, for free, call in things to kill you. I don't know why they let you do that. You know, this game doesn't have too much of an, of an emphasis on traffic, so I was trying to make all this stuff to increase traffic flow, but I think I, I, I've been watching too much City Skylines, because, like I said, I'd really love to get that game. Also, we should probably get one of these. See how it's got the green coverage sector? kind of wish we could build there. Here's a grade school. And what that does is it'll give us some basic... You want to get some green zones all over your residential. Now, each one requires $10 an hour that you lose. It's a little unfortunate, but it gives access to the schools. And the more schooling you have, the... Uh, Students enrolled, students not enrolled. Anyway, does this add anything? No. It's just for looks. But we'll do it, because why not? Look at that. Grade school. The more educated your people are, the less crimes they commit. Um, because you can also get arsonists, who are really annoying, because they'll start fires. So, Not only are they criminals, so the police have to catch them, but also... What, what are you trying to tell me? Samson's Hollow is a high-tech city now. Getting rid of this shack soon and getting my dream home. You think? Because I'm not upgrading your, uh... Oh, never mind. Wait, he says shack? He's got a level two. I don't remember how to cr increase density. There's a way to do that, where you can get all the buildings to just... Is it... Oh, it's happiness. So the happier people get in an area, I should be able to get oxygen scrubbers. I was just thinking about that. I don't have the town hall upgraded yet. We're still on our way to 5,000. And I don't know if we'll be increasing at all because I haven't been able to build anything extra onto it. We got garbage trucks. We've got this. But I wonder if I shouldn't maybe grab some extra. Yeah, we're actually okay. So we're starting to run out of power. So let's pop on a giant. Mm, do I just want that attached? To oh, here we go. This is good. Let me try and get it as close as possible. Well. Road upgrade is R. That's how you do it. Oh, 
yeah, I can get in better solar panels. So that's basically all of my money gone again. But, now we should reach full power. Oh, here we go, look at this. We reach second density. So if we increase, these are medium density streets, yes? Yeah. I don't really need them to be medium density, but you know. Too late now. Let's try and zone in some more. These should start as density two, shouldn't they? So you can see, as we kind of progress, we'll slowly but surely try and increase the uh, density market. Yeah, their happiness is increasing. I think this is a big help. Think about we're out here. straight roads. There we go. Unfortunately, there's another building in the way that I placed. Ah, not enough money. Anyway, what I'm trying to do is get some more industrial buildings. We need money. Money isn't going to make itself. So this has been part one of SimCity. If you uh, enjoyed it, make sure to, I don't know, tell me in the comments. I guess you can like it, too. I don't really get any likes. But yeah, you can do that.